Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the Ganja Geezer here on a beautiful fall day afternoon in Denver, Colorado. Today is going to be another review day. Um, today we're going to be reviewing Medically Correct's Blueberry Bliss White Chocolate Bar. It's their newest product from their Incredibles line of treats and I picked up this from the um, Giving Tree Dispensary here in Colorado. Um, package looks like this. Um, Nice foil package. Um, try to get it in there, there. Left and right. 100 milligrams of THC in a 45 um, gram white chocolate bar. Um, some viewers may remember I reviewed the uh, Mile High Mint chocolate bar by this company and it contained 175 milligrams for $10 and this contains 100 milligrams, I think it was for $9. So it's, it definitely doesn't have as much bang for the buck on paper that the other one did. So, but on a good plus side, I'm anticipating that this should taste much better because, or taste better because it has a lower concentration. Um, my dose right now, you know, as I've been taking it, is around 25 milligrams, so I'm thinking one quarter of this um, should um, do the trick. Um, again, as I said, it's a nice foil package, um, and I have to say, medically correct, this company has the best um, professional packaging of any of the um, Colorado uh, edible manufacturers that I've come across so far. The packaging, clear labeling of the expiration date, lot number, and ingredients. And the ingredients are white chocolate, medical marijuana, rice krispies, blueberries, contains milk processed in a facility that processes nuts. So a little warning there for anybody with nuts all nut allergies. Um, so now let's um, crack open this bad boy and give it a try. Um, there's a little tear off here on the end just like the uh, Mile High Mint chocolate bar. Slide that out. Oh, that's not very attractive. <laughs> um, blue. I mean, truly blue. Not many blue foods in this world, but um, kind of looks like Play-Doh or something like that. But I like the fact that it's segmented into nice cross segments so you can um, determine titrate your dose. So I'm going to take three of these off. Blue? Really? <laughs> So, just break off three here. Let's pop one of these in my mouth and see how it tastes. Wow. That is a tasty chocolate bar. I barely taste anything. This is amazing. That is the best tasting edible I've had so far. Um, absolutely just a tiny bit of aftertaste but I mean that that tastes like a candy bar apart from the Smurf motif it's actually a really tasty to, um, treat all right I'm just gonna take uh, 20 milligrams right now and um, see how that does for me. One thing I just wanted to show here after I put it back in the refrigerator. Um, looks like I've been playing with crayons or chalk. Nice blue on your fingers. Instead of like orange fingers from Cheetos, you get blue from um, the Smurf bar. Hello, it's uh, next day. Um, I'd like to apologize for the rough transition just back then. Uh, the audio started flaking out at the end of yesterday's recording and I had to clip out um, the good stuff and remove the uh, inaudible stuff. Alright, let's move on to the review. Uh, I'm going to go back and review taste of the uh, Blueberry Bliss um, bar. Um, as I said, this is the best tasting product I've had so far. I could have eaten the entire um, chocolate bar for enjoyment, although I would have been pasted to the ceiling if I had done so. Um, there was only a hint of aftertaste, as I said before, and you know, it was barely noticeable. The only complaint I could give about this product is its appearance. I mean, the ingredient, the ingredient list says there are blueberries in there, but I'm, I'm not blueberry extract or genuine imitation processed blueberry 
spread type stuff. So I'm assuming based on that list that this was actual just like a blueberry puree that they just mixed in with the chocolate. I'm um, giving that disturbing aqua smurf vibe. Um, I was expecting a white chocolate bar with chunks and blueberry in it, you know, kind of like, a, you know, cookies and cream type vibe. But um, I think maybe they could have gone with that to make it a little more palatable on the uh, look side. But taste is where it's count, and I'm going to have to give it a 10 for taste. I mean, it was actually tasted like a nice chocolate, white chocolate bar. Moving on to pain relief, this is where it falls a bit short for me. Um, this seems to be a THC only product, so I primarily experienced head effects and very little, if any, body effects at all. And that's really what I'm looking for for the most part because those seem to help my back and my leg pain much more than anything else. It's not necessarily a bad thing though because it does, the THC, the head high, does help distract from the pain, but it actually doesn't suppress it in any way for me. I'd also like to mention here that I'd give them kudos for segmenting the product into easily, um, you know, the little segments so you can easily determine your dose. You don't have to break it off and estimate. Maybe I'm taking a third, maybe I'm taking a quarter. Um, I think all edibles should consider doing this if their actual, the actual product they sell isn't one serving size. So in summary, for pain relief, I'm going to have to give it a seven for pain relief, and that was only because it could provide some distraction from the pain, you know, making the hamster wheel go faster in the brain with the uh, THC. Um, so again, pain relief is a rating of 7. Moving on to the third point of my rating scale is side effects. And this, since this was a head effect type uh, medication, um, THC, um, I have to say it was a very manageable um, high. I felt in control at all times and went for a long walk last night and felt just fine. I had a bit of trouble falling asleep, and that's going to hit me a little bit because by the time, about five hours after I took it, I tried to go to bed and I was just too um, wired, I guess is the word you'd use, to um, go to sleep. So it gave me a little bit of insomnia, which I didn't like. Um, but in the morning I woke up and I felt um, clear-headed and rested. So overall I'm going to give this a rating of 8 for um, side effects. And again. For in review, eight, the higher the number is better, lower side effects. So for everything, the higher the number is better. And the fourth point in my um, rating scale is value. And I do this through the milligrams per dollar ratio. And early in the review, I said I paid $9 for a 100 milligram bar. That translates to 11 milligrams per dollar. That's rounded down, 11.3 actually. And I took three of the 12 pieces, pieces overall. You only saw me eating two on the video, but I took one about an hour later, and that was 25% of the bar. So I just say it this uh, clear way. It seems to be, for me and people with um, low tolerance, there are four, four doses in the bar so for $9. Um, there are a lot better deals out there, um, so I'm going to have to give this a rating of 7 out of 10 for um, value. But... I'd have to say, if you were to get this on a buy one, get one type deal, you would jump on it because it is a good product, especially if you're looking at something to relieve uh, PTSD or some sort of depression issue, I would think. So, we got our four ratings. In summary, we have 10 for taste, 7 for pain relief, 8 for side effects, and 7 for value, giving it an overall Ganja Giza rating of 8. All right. Um, that's it for now. Um, I'd like to remind everyone to please click the like button, make comments down below, um, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. Um, later on in this month, I plan on doing a follow-up on the driving episode, and I would like to ask for more input on that if anybody sees this. I'd like to thank the people already who have sent in links and um, encourage um, others to do so. Any comments, again, or um, suggestions for videos, please send to my ganjageezer at gmail.com email address or any of my social sites where I'm, I'm on Google+, Twitter, Facebook. Um, the links to those um, contacts are down in the description below. All right, um, until next time, goodbye and stay medicated.